I haven't heard about any programming interview, where they don't ask you about data structure. In this video we will see what is data structure and why they are so important. Apart from that we will see some most asked data structure questions and answer for the interview. So if you are ready let's start today's video. Before starting this video I would like to request you if you're new on this channel please like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you. So let's start with, what is a data structure in Python? Answer. The data structure is a description of how data is organized or stored, modified, and accessed. By specifying how different sorts of data connect to one another, it also develops relationships and forms algorithms. The data structure of any computer language is a crucial concept in algorithmic design. Next. What are the various data structure types? Answer. The numerous forms of data structures are as follows. 1. Lists. Lists are a collection of related objects that are linked to the data items before and after them. 2. Arrays. Arrays are a collection of values with the same value. 3. Stacks. Last in first out or LIFO data structures, or stacks, are those in which the element placed last is accessed first. 4. Queues. Queues are a first-in-first-out data structure. 5. Graphs. In this data structure, data values are stored in nodes connected by edges. 6. Trees. Like a linked list, the data values are linked in a hierarchical structure. 7. Hash table table in which each value is assigned a key and then preserved, making individual values more accessible. 8. Heaps, a binary tree data structure that allows you to compare parent. Next question. What applications do data structures have? Answer. Data structures are useful for a number of things, including. Dynamic memory allocation should be implemented model sets and other types of data network modeling identifying and resolving the most basic issues next question why numpy arrays are better than python list give three main reasons this is a popular python data structure interview question arrays in numpy have three advantages over python lists one it is more efficient to use a numpy array the NumPy arrays continue to grow in size. It has the potential to be 30 times faster than Python lists. 2. NumPy is a programming language that is both faster and easier to use. It comes with a number of free vector and matrix operations that help you save time and effort. They can also be carried out successfully. 3. Finally, Python lists have several limitations, such as the inability to perform element-wise addition, multiplication, and other vectorized operations. Python must also keep type information for each entry because lists contain a variety of objects. Arrays, on the other hand, have homogeneous objects and hence do not have these restrictions. Next question. What are tuples and lists? What is the main distinction between the two? Answer. Lists and tuples are sequence data structures in Python that can store a collection of items. Both sequences are capable of storing items of various data types. Parentheses are used to represent tuples, while square brackets are used to represent lists. The fundamental difference between the two is that lists are mutable objects, but tuples are not. Tuples are fixed and cannot be modified in any way, despite the fact that lists can be changed, appended, or sliced on the fly. Here is the example, run the following example to any Python editor to see the difference. Next question. What is the distinction between Python arrays and Python lists? Answer. Arrays in Python can only include components of the same data type, hence the data type of the array must be homogeneous. It's a small wrapper for C language arrays, that utilizes a fraction of the memory of lists. Lists in Python can contain components of several data types, 
making list data types heterogeneous. Here is an example of array and list, run the following code in any Python editor to see the difference. Next question. What is the difference between linear and nonlinear data structure? Answer. A data structure that stores data in a linear order is known as a linear data structure. You can only traverse the data structure using that linear series. Arrays and stacks are examples of linear data structures. Data is organized in nonlinear ways with nonlinear data structures. For example, a graph is made up of nodes connected by edges. The edges that connect the nodes, not the order in which they are joined, determine the relationships between the data values. Trees are examples of nonlinear data structures. Next question. What is stack? In terms of data structure. Answer. A stack is an abstract data type that provides a linear data structure, analogous to a physical stack or pile where objects may only be removed from the top. As a result, item insertion or push and deletion or pop take place only at one end of the stack, the top of the stack, and in a certain order. LIFO, last in first out or FIFO first in last out. Here is the example of stack implementation in Python, run the code in any Python editor to see the output. Next question. What operations can you do with a stack? Answer. A stack is a linear data structure that works on the same idea as a list, except that in a stack, components are only added and deleted from one end, the top. As a result, a stack is known as a LIFO, last in first out, data structure, because the last component inserted is the first component removed. A stack can carry out two basic operations. 1. Push. When you use the push action, a new element is added to the stack. The new function is at the top of the priority list. However, before we insert the value, we must first verify if top equals max 1, since if it is, the stack is filled and no more insertions are possible. 2. Pop. To remove the topmost member of a stack, use the pop action. We must first verify if top equals null before deleting the item, because if it is, the stack is empty and no further deletions are permitted. You'll get a underflow notice if you try to remove a value from a stack that is already empty. That's it for this video, we will continue some other most important questions in next video. So if you are new on this channel please like and subscribe so you will get notification for new videos, thanks.